Welcome to another episode of Chamber Talk. I am your host, Shana Smith, Vice President of Business at the Chamber of Commerce and Hotel Association. This episode, we'll be talking about business development programs, as well as membership benefits and other programs that we have at the Chamber of Commerce. With me, I have Mrs. Dana Ambrose, and she is from the H. Larity Style Community College Center for Professional Development and Community Education. That's a mouthful, Dana. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Chamber Talk. And thank you for being here. Okay, so at the college, our community college, we have this center that mm -hmm. provides business development programming as well as some other things. So for persons who are hearing about this for the first time, mm -hmm. let them know what, what is the center. Okay, so the center is an arm of, or one of the arms of workforce training division of the H. Lavity South Community College. And one of our charges when we were rebranded in 2013 mm -hmm. was to look at what the professional development needs and community education needs of the territory were and to put into place programs or courses, workshops, any form of activity that can engage the community accordingly with, re with regards to those two main um, mandates that we would have been looking at, that being professional development and community education. Mm -hmm. So we design programs, we uh, format them, we deliver them, and we also engage with the entities who may very well need that form of training as well. So we don't just sit at the college and um, create these programs. We have conversation, we have okay. dialogue. I remember the year when you guys had the yes. survey. Right, and um, we have dialogue to get a sense from persons exactly what are they looking for. Mm -hmm. Because that then makes our um, impact to the community much more effective mm -hmm. and sustainable yeah. over over the uh, you know a period of time so um, we did that in 2013 uh, we looked first at professional development because we felt that that perhaps may be uh, one of the more pressing matters within the territory mm -hmm. and then in 2015 we looked at community education so we did two needs assessment um, surveys and we have the feedback from that and based on that you now have uh, us being able to now produce a mm -hmm. comprehensive schedule mm -hmm. every semester that looks at all of the possibilities of training and um, any form of community engagement that persons would actually be looking for. Okay. And I think you were sharing with me earlier that the delivery methods include online as yeah. well as classrooms. Yes, so we have diversified. Um, of course, as a community college, um, our main approach initially would have been face-to-face. -face. Uh, but part of those needs assessments indicated that persons may not be available Mm -hmm. to uh, come to the college mm -hmm. every time uh, they want to do a course. So we looked at the online options and we uh, sought support from other schools and other um, institutions who were already in that particular, uh, that offering that particular form of, of, of learning. Okay. And uh, we were able to uh, partner in some cases to bring those programs to the forefront. In fact, we've been also able to hybrid, meaning bring the face-to-face -face and the online together mm -hmm. and offer programs which would give persons that benefit, uh, meaning that if you do a face-to-face, -face, you will still have the, uh, the ability to do some online um, okay. um, interaction as well. Okay. Yeah. So we know mm -hmm. that you know, for business owners, mm -hmm. whether it's for themselves mm -hmm. in terms of their professional development right. or even for their employees, yes. that you know, it's very important for them to be doing continuous education of course. in terms of upgrading their skills. So I, you know, I'm very excited when mm -hmm. we met and we spoke about you know, mm -hmm. what is being offered at the yeah. college mm -hmm. and knowing that there's basically a resource center. Yes. 
um, that you guys offer in mm -hmm. terms of not just training, but you also do consultation? Of course. And um, we have done, we have worked with some particular partners in the past, mm -hmm. being able to create things for them like business development plans and so on. Mm -hmm. And um, the feedback so far has been pretty, pretty good. Of course, you may need to make some tweaks here and there, but that that is what being in business is all about, you know, being able to offer your service, but also to get that feedback, which is key, so that you can then make the necessary mm -hmm. changes that need to uh, be made, so that when you continue to offer the program, it is more impactful, it is more effective, and persons are getting what they actually signed up for. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very key for it to remain relevant. Yes. You know, because again, for businesses, they're environment might be changing of so course. they need a different skill set for mm -hmm. their employees so that's very key and you also do customized training programs you yes meaning that um, if a particular business wants uh, something done we may very well pull um, a curriculum that we already have but now adapt it mm -hmm. to whatever set Okay. that is so if it's something in um, healthcare for example mm -hmm. uh, we would basically customize it so that it has relevance now to that particular sector and so it's not just um, you know one shoe fits all yeah you want something that at the end of the day they can be able to take from it what they need to be able to take from it mm -hmm. so that they can be more effective as they go forward their staff the entire organization as a whole okay yeah great so let's talk about the upcoming fall 2017 schedule I yes it's very long of course <laughs> and we're going to make sure that this is available on the chamber of commerce website mm -hmm. as well as it's also available on the college's website right yeah okay so and we'll talk more about how persons would enroll right. and so forth so some of the categories that I see here, we have automotive mm -hmm. courses, where we have automotive technician, mm -hmm. and that's available online as well as mentor support. Right. And then the duration for actually all of those are mm -hmm. for a year. Yes. So kind of describe that for persons just in case. Okay, these programs are for persons who are already in the field. Okay. They may not have the qualification that actually substantiates. They know their they know their skill. Mm -hmm. They know their trade. Yeah. But they don't have the paper mm -hmm. to substantiate that. And that is what these courses do. Okay. They give them the ability to work at, um, study after work mm -hmm. online and be able to garner the skill sets maybe in in some cases be updated as to the new technologies mm -hmm. in their particular field so that they can then uh you know be able to apply it to the job as they are already on the job okay. and be able at the end of it to have something to say i completed a comprehensive training program as a technician in this particular area okay so they would receive a certificate yes of completion yes okay mm -hmm. great so i also see uh we have building and construction mm -hmm. uh business communications right so that's a for one of the courses we have uh mm -hmm. business communications it's a three month yeah. duration and mm -hmm. that's also online mm -hmm. fundamentals of technical writing i see that's new yes that okay. is new uh, customer service program and effective business writing mm -hmm. skills. Okay. Yes. So mm -hmm. also on the business, you have business management. So mm -hmm. there's a whole host of okay. courses there. And right. most of these are, I see, online and mentor supported. Right. Um, just to add to what you are saying, going through the list, mm -hmm. um, something that I didn't mention about the, aut the automotive, automotive offerings. Mm -hmm. um, if there is an external certification, we would also indicate that okay. to the persons that if they want to go on and do that external certification, this is what they would need to do. Okay. So we give that advice. We presently don't have the, um, the certification available at the college, but that's something that we are continuously in pursuit of, okay. acquiring the rights to offer more certification exam. So I just wanted to make that um, aware that, that okay. we are moving in that direction as well. Okay. So I see some new courses on the business management. There's grant writing 101. Yes. Um, this would be one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Lean Six Sigma for government. Yes. That's important. Of course. Very. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
What's that course about? Just um, to give persons a, a brief overview. Well, Lean Six Sigma is you know this one of these um, evolving fields. Mm -hmm. uh, what we've been able to do is to adapt it. This is where we were talking about some customization. Adapt it now to a sector, mm -hmm. so that at the end of the day, the person's taking that course, they're not just going to get the general sense of what um, what the particular objectives of, of, of that program are, but now how to relate it as government uh, public sector officers. Mm -hmm. And we also have a Lean Six Sigma for healthcare as well. So okay. yeah, so, so, so those two particular courses are geared to helping persons to e perform more effectively within those sectors. Okay. Right, so um, it looks at improving your ability to manage your, your, your workload, manage the different projects that you may have. Look at all of the efficiencies within uh, your particular job that may not necessarily be, uh, you may be able to um, take advantage of right now, mm -hmm. but to point you in that direction and, and, and you would be able to maybe adapt what you presently do mm -hmm. to uh, you know accommodate those new procedures, new um, advancements in those areas. Okay. Mm -hmm. So on the business technology, you guys have the usual in terms of mm -hmm. Adobe, Photoshop, right. um, Java programming, mm -hmm. Microsoft Excel. Mm -hmm. And we've added um, three new courses in mobile applications so that persons um, who you know, are technologically savvy. Mm -hmm. um, they may be able to update themselves in terms of what are the new procedures in terms of mobile applications for Android, uh, website, iOS, etc. Okay. So those are three new programs we added there, uh, in particular for the technological uh, savvy individuals and for the telecommunications sector in its own right. Okay, mm -hmm. great. So. I mean, this is very comprehensive. I really <laughs> yeah. commend the college because we have child care courses, right. cosmetology, mm -hmm. creative careers such as event planning and yeah. management, mm -hmm. professional catering. This is for persons who are already in the field. Mm -hmm. they, they're doing it, mm -hmm. but you're just now giving them the opportunity, okay, let's look and see what are the best practices. Okay in these areas and they can stay in the comfort of their home mm -hmm. and study mm -hmm. and be able to attain uh you know the knowledge the 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 the, the know-how mm -hmm. the ability to improve upon what they are presently doing so this is what we're doing we're trying to help persons to function better mm -hmm. to be more effective um, because at the end of the day, we're looking at competencies yes. and proficiencies within your job. And that's what we understand and, and, and take from our mandate in terms of delivering professional development mm -hmm. uh, programs and courses for individuals. And I think it's really awesome, especially for micro and small business owners. Yes. Because oftentimes, you know, it, it might be one person which is themselves correct but this is this gives them that opportunity to right. work um, in terms of their own professional development to mm -hmm. be able to access the online education correct. Uh, modules that you yeah. have because as you said um, a person working in their own business that's their daily bread mm -hmm. they, they you can't take them from that mm -hmm. and so the online option gives them the capability to still do what they need to do and still attain uh, professional development as they go along so that they can become better at what they do. At what they do. Yeah. That's, that's very important. So just to run along through, we have mm -hmm. Disaster National Security right. Management. Mm -hmm. um, I see you have a new entrepreneurship. Yes. That's, you know, that's all business. So tell us more right. about that. So we, we, we con over the last three years, we, we constantly got a sense that there was a need, a demand for persons to have training in entrepreneurship. And you, you, you have to appreciate that a person in their own business is busy. Mm -hmm. So we had to come up with an option that was not necessarily just do it fast, quick, <laughs> etc. Yeah. But at the same time, streamlined, streamlined. Yeah. yeah. And that they can 
work along with the program, along with their business, and still attain the skill sets mm -hmm. uh, that are needed or, or the knowledge that is needed for them to be able to function better. What are the things that as an entrepreneur you are supposed to be doing that you may not be currently doing? Mm -hmm. What are the things that you can introduce? What are the things that other businesses out there are doing? And I find that a lot of the courses that we have that we offer the online option, one of the things I have particularly been happy about is that we look and see what is happening out there mm -hmm. internationally. Okay. What is the best practice in this particular sector? And we point persons to the resources. Okay. These resources are out there. And uh, so I, I am very happy about the package that we've been able to put together mm -hmm. here uh, to offer to the business community. Um, the college is still listening to the community that it is a part of. And that is one of the things that this particular schedule says. Mm -hmm. We are here, we are available to help you to get where you need to be. Yeah, and that's, that's so key because, I mean, in terms of the business mm -hmm. community being so broad, yeah. you know, I see where you guys have tried to fit in something right. for everyone that's there, fitness and wellness. Mm -hmm green technology and renewable energy. Right. Um, I see healthcare and medical. And, and that particular is something that the needs assessment that we did in 2013 pointed us to. We didn't, um, it wasn't, it, not that we didn't, wasn't aware that there was a need. It wasn't on our immediate radar. Okay. Healthcare was the number one choice mm -hmm. when we did the needs assessment and people expressed that. And so what that needs assessment did is it pointed us in the direction of trying to get out there, find out from the health sector um, professionals or persons uh, already offering the services, what is it that exactly you are looking for mm -hmm. that we at the college aren't offering to you at this time? And because of that, we've been able over the last two years to introduce two main programs I feel that are very effective so far, mm -hmm. patient care technician and clinical medical assistant. Okay. And those programs, in my view, have uh, really taken off in a way that we would have never imagined. Mm -hmm. And those are two fields that are relevant. Yes, for persons who may be looking for um, ability or the opportunity to work with a hospital, but not just a hospital, also private clinics, mm -hmm. also home care. Okay. The, 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 the field patient care technician is very broad and it gives persons skill sets that they can actually move into any of those fields. And to date, we have over, I believe we have probably about 14 persons who went through the program and have finished their certification. Okay. They are certified. Oh. And what that basically Good. means is that they have gone through all the rigors and tests that um, the international um, industry and healthcare are looking for in terms of what they should be able to do. Mm -hmm. and, and those two programs I mentioned there, they are hybrid, they're mm -hmm. offered hybrid, meaning there's the face-to-face -face mm -hmm. and there's the online. So they get the, be the benefits of both worlds. Okay. And they're hands-on. They also have externships attached to them. Okay. And we've been able to work both with the public sector and the private sector to allow those students to attain their externship requirements. And what that means is that they have to actually go in to a healthcare facility mm -hmm. and function and be observed mm -hmm. and be uh, acquire a certain amount of hours in order to actually then be a um, considered ready mm -hmm. to do their certification exam. Okay. And so what we are doing now, we are really looking at what is it that the other schools are doing and trying to apply the best practices so that the persons now in the territory are following the same rule book okay. in terms of being competent and uh, exhibiting the required proficiencies. Those are two words that I will always continue continue to repeat mm -hmm. and say competent and proficient. Mm -hmm. We need for our uh, workforce to be 
persons who are competent mm -hmm. and proficient in that, especially in healthcare, mm -hmm. you don't want people that are Yeah, guessing. not much room for error yeah. <laughs> in healthcare. So, yes. <laughs> not much. Yeah. <laughs> but any. not just healthcare. We want yeah. it in all the sectors. Yeah. We want it in all the sectors so that people, when they go, they feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. They can have a good experience. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if we have that, we will get less complaints mm -hmm. uh, about you know, the, the, went this place and, yeah. and, 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 and this experience. and So, because it really boils down to service mm -hmm. delivery yeah. at the end of the day for a business, mm -hmm. you know. So, it's not just about training your employees for mm -hmm. the sake of training them. Right. But knowing that because you have competent and proficient employees, yes. that you will deliver high quality service. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, that's, that's a key thing because I know a lot of times business owners wrestle with the whole thing of budgeting for mm -hmm. human resources development. Of but it's really something as far as investing in your business that you, you cannot do. You can't afford not to do. Yeah. Because again, if you don't deliver high quality service, then you're gonna lose your customers of and course. then all of these things start to affect, mm -hmm. you know, the rest of the business. Right. So and that's such a perfect segue into mm -hmm. the next category in mm -hmm. terms of workforce readiness yeah. program. Where I see you guys have a, a, a few new courses mm -hmm. there, critical thinking and problem solving, mm -hmm. financial literacy, mm -hmm. leadership and responsibility, mm -hmm. productivity and accountability. Right. So those are some areas that we continue to hear the, 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 the business the, sector, the, talk, the business about, sector yes. talk about. <laughs> yeah. And and so we looked and see what are the best practices that other schools have been able to adopt and, mm -hmm. and, and what they have been able to do is find short courses that are uh, built around the the actual requirements or the expectations let's put it that way okay. the expectations that businesses have of their staff when they come on the job mm -hmm. and some of these as you see here productivity and accountability major one mm -hmm. financial literacy to some extent but then another major one is critical thinking mm -hmm. and problem solving you know you want somebody who can fix a problem, yeah. not just come and complain about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and so uh, these are areas that, you know, we have identified as uh, important for workforce readiness, mm -hmm. meaning are you ready to actually be in the workforce and to function mm -hmm. in the manner in which you are you were hired to function. Yeah. Um, so it can't be that you're guessing at this point. After three, four years, mm -hmm. mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, something is definitely wrong. So uh, these courses are, are, are now being offered to help persons because okay. you just don't want to write off people as well. Yeah. You want to give them a chance, opportunity. an opportunity to improve. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it is that people just don't know. That is true. And if they don't know, mm -hmm. then you are trying to assess them of a job that they don't understand the, 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 what is really required mm -hmm. of that job. And, and what you will look at when you see a lot of the courses we are offering here, they are written to a job description, uh, meaning it's precisely to if you are doing security, mm -hmm. what are the things that a security officer is supposed to know okay. when they come on the job? And we've been actually been able to introduce that um, that uh, course since last year, um, and it's actually gotten a good reception. And we are seeing the benefits of because what we do is that for the security, mm -hmm. we take them through the legislation. A lot of these security officers don't know the legislation that governs how they're supposed to function mm -hmm. on the job. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's what our training does. We take them from the legislation, mm -hmm. inform them from the legislation, what you can do, what you can't do, okay. what you can get in trouble for, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. And then we walk them through, okay, based on international standards, these are the main areas that you need to be competent in. Mm -hmm. So yes, you're not expected to just sit down at a desk and just time who comes in at this time and time them out and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Security guard has to be vigilant, has to know what is going on, or on in the area that he's securing. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I, and I could go on, that's just one example. example the, yeah. the, the, there are other areas 
Um, so a lot of the courses that you find that we're offering now are specifically written to job descriptions so that people will know, okay, if you go to be hired as a medical um, administrative assistant, these are the things that you have to be able to do. Mm -hmm. Don't, if, if that's what not you want to do, then that's not the job you're supposed to be in. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so we need to be able to change a lot of the misfits that seem to be occurring in 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 the workplace, yeah. and 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 let persons know, look, if you're hired for this, these are the areas you need to be uh, proficient in, or to be able to function in effectively. Yeah, and that's that's very key because again, too, for as part of maybe say a, a particular company's mm -hmm. new employee orientation, right. They can enroll them in these courses, and right. that way they know that coming in, they have mm -hmm. a basic mm -hmm. level of um, mm -hmm. skill set. Yeah, and there's their... actually a new employee program as well. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, for see, just four weeks. You guys weeks. covered everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys have yeah. covered everything. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up now, and then give mm -hmm. some contact information. The last yeah. thing I see on mm -hmm. here is about the American Education Certification Association, right. where persons can sit the examinations at HLSCC. Right. So you have allied healthcare, mm -hmm. uh, medical administration, mm -hmm. uh, rehabilitation, right. and um, strength and conditioning rehabilitation specialists. Yes. Okay. And they would book that. Right. So um, let our audience know now how to get in contact with the center or right. yourself and mm -hmm. in order to enroll mm -hmm. in any of these programs in the upcoming right. School year. So the center is available uh, for contact Monday through Friday of every week unless there's a holiday mm -hmm. um, and we're open from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Um, our courses however operate outside of those sometimes outside of those operating hours but if you call us between those times uh, we'll be able to um, give you the requisite information that you're looking for mm -hmm. um, we can advise you as well to see what it is you're actually looking for and point you in the direction in which we think is most suitable for you. Okay. Um, I am the coordinator of the center. I have a program administrator who does most of the communication. Her name okay. is Mrs. Veronique Forbes King. Mm -hmm. uh, her contact uh, number is 852-7191. Uh, I'm also available at 852-7035. Um, we also have an email address that we use um, for just general inquiries. Mm -hmm. That is cpdce, cpdce at hlscc.edu.vg. Okay. Uh, or you can email me at dlewis, which is D-L-E-W-I-S, mm -hmm. at hlscc.edu.vg, or Miss Forbes King at VF King, meaning VF. K I N G at HLSCC dot edu dot VG. And as we mentioned before, the schedule is also available on the college's website. Yes. Um, so the college's website is HLSCC dot edu dot VG. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a, a page, a page mm -hmm. from that. So if you want to get directly to our page, it's HLSCC dot edu dot VG forward slash CPD. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Dana, <laughs> you have given us lots to think about. Uh -huh. Again, we want to encourage not just the members of the Chamber of Commerce, but the entire business community and even you know the workforce themselves to take the initiative to look right. into these programs that are coming up. And you know, put the idea maybe to your HR manager and ask them if the company will be willing to invest in the training yeah. as part of their professional development on the job. Right. So that's, that's really awesome. And uh, you never know, we might have some free courses, so you could call and find out See? if there are any free courses available as well. There you go. <laughs> uh, we actually have one coming up in business continuity planning okay. for small businesses. Mm -hmm. So that one should be um, taken off the last week in May. Okay. So small businesses, give us a call. Definitely. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, Dana, thank you for being on thank Chamber you. Talk. All right. Thank All right. you. We'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs>